to have. Oh yeah, here we go. Another sword and sorcery flick. Uh, not a good one. <laughs> David Carradine and the Warrior and the Sorceress. Um, really awesome cover with a girl with four boobs and um, a painting of David Carradine that's absolutely not David Carradine. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one... Yeah, it's just really... It's, it's hilariously bad, this movie. I mean, I liked watching it because it was hilariously bad, but it's just... It's just... Oh, it's so stupid. Um... But, uh, hey, a lot of nudity, because I, th I don't think I've seen, there's like only one scene where the women had clothes on in this movie. Other than that, they're all, you know, all completely butt naked. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Do see it if you get a chance. Uh, Shop Factory also released that on DVD. I think it's not a double feature with Deathstalker, one of the releases of it. Or it might be a double feature with uh, Barbarian Queen. Either way, I want to get that too, Barbarian Queen. Okay, here we go. We got... Uh, Wicked City. This is a Hong Kong uh, sci-fi action flick. Uh, it's based on a manga and anime from Japan uh, about uh, this, you know, the dark world and the human world colliding and all these monsters coming around and uh, causing havoc. And uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, I bought this actually. Uh, oh yeah, I bought this at the an army base when I was still in the navy. Yeah, thirty-one ninety-five. Can you believe that? <laughs> Does it have any specials on there? Nope. It's widescreen, that's about it. It's in Cantonese English subtitles. Cool movie. Alright. Got the Wizard of Oz Criterion. Uh, 50th, 50th, 50th anniversary edition. Uh, this is the only. This is the first way I've owned the, the Wizard of Oz in any format. I've never owned it on VHS, DVD. Or, uh, I picked this up, I think, last year or the year before on LaserDisc uh, as a part of a package deal. Uh, there is the Ultimate Oz box set, which I think is still worth something because there's some extras on that that haven't been reproduced on any uh, on any DVD releases. Uh, and we got special features here. What does this have? Okay, we've got audio commentary by film historian Ronald Harver, uh, do, 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 composer Harold Arlen's home movies. If only had a Brady dance sequence, MGM promotional short featuring Buddy Epson. Uh, Jerry Moran of the Lollipop Guild involvement, including excerpts from the 1925 silent version of Oz, and CAV. So, um, yeah, it's got some pretty cool, uh, extras here. Um, supplementary section, stage production, expert. yeah, so it's got some pretty cool, uh, extras here. Not sure if any of those are reproduced on any of the, uh, DVD releases, but cool to have. Um, I do wonder if the transfer is all, all that colorful because I know there have been issues about the uh, original Warner DVD release and the MGM release on uh, on DVD. I believe the Warner release had more saturated colors. Uh, so that's the one to get, but that's hard to get by because that's the older release. But anyway, I'm not talking about the DVDs, I'm talking about laser discs here. Alright, another Sword and Sorcery flick. Uh, your Hunter from the Future. Uh, I don't believe this is on DVD. Uh, and I got this not too long ago for a good price, so I haven't got, I haven't seen this, but uh, it should be awesome because it has Red Brown, and Red Brown is you know king of the crappy movies from the eighties. <laughs> he did so many of them, especially yeah I think he was Strike Commando by Bruno uh, uh, Bruno Mattei's Strike Commando. I believe also he was Captain America in Albert Pune's Captain America movie from nineteen ninety. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think was being released on DVD, just to cash in on the popularity of the current Captain America movie. But anyway, I uh, hope to see this soon, because it looks god-awful. Okay, and lastly, we've got Zoo, Warriors from the Magic Mountain. This is a great, great uh, sci-fi fantasy uh, Hong Kong flick from Choi Hook. Uh, it's a widescreen edition. It has all these stars in there. Either they were stars at the time or went on to go, go become uh, big stars in Hong Kong. Uh, love this movie, but the problem is, uh, <sighs> Tai Seng. I love them for bringing over so many Hong Kong flicks um, in the 90s, but their Laserdisc releases leave a lot to be desired. The, um, the, pictures, the, the pictures were just not good at all. They're blurry and ugly, and I don't think this one was any different. Uh, yeah, because I have the, uh, the Laserdisc of... Uh, Eastern Condors, and it has a god awful looking laser disc. But, uh, you know, it's got uh, this letterbox, so I'm, I'm going to look at it, but I hope it's not uh, 
does have some liner notes. Yeah, yeah. Yep, it's one sheet of liner, a double sided sheet of liner notes. So that's cool to have. Anyway, that's my uh, sci fi and fantasy laser disc update. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully, I get to another uh, laser collection update soon enough. Talk to y'all later.